all right guys so this is the video for the PCM very very complex but very simple at the same time I'm gonna go through most of the functions here um, aside from getting too deep into manufacturer program settings which nobody ever changes anyway uh, but again if you can if you want to uh, you know adjust those or have a question on those you can feel free to call me as well first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off the auto stop start mode I don't believe anybody likes it on a 911 luckily it's right there on your home screen to change when you go into sport or sport plus mode or if you program that to your individual mode it will automatically turn off the start stop start stop mode in order to let you keep going without your vehicle turning off at stop lights or stop signs uh, or in stop and go traffic so you'll notice at the bottom five toggle switches switches one and two can be programmed obviously switch three is your hazard lights switch four it's going to be your PSM Porsche stability management I do not recommend turning that off unless you're maybe on the track and you've done this for quite a while if you hit it on accident it will not do anything now I must hold it down for about three seconds in order to turn off the PSM so again if you just do a quick tap it cannot be turned off I'm gonna go ahead and turn it back on and then you have your sport chassis normal mode sport mode pretty cool that easy and again when you are in sport plus mode or program that to the individual mode it will do it on its own first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into settings because I want to go in and start the setup wizard if it's your first time starting your vehicle up uh, your setup wizard will perform automatically but if you go into settings and scroll all the way down you can actually perform basic PCM functions so obviously we're gonna keep it in English uh, that's my main language uh, it's gonna ask say give me a welcome message it's gonna ask me to connect my phone I'm gonna go ahead and search for a new phone my Bluetooth is activated I may not be able to do it when I'm on a video uh, but if you're in your Bluetooth settings you can uh, therefore find your phone and then add it so it looks like I won't be able to do it while making a video but nevertheless uh, super easy to do I'm gonna go ahead and hit next uh, data connection there is an embedded SIM card in here integrated SIM card so you should be good there link Porsche ID now this is for the Porsche connect services which uh, gives you the online navigation the apps in the car and uh, access to the Porsche connect app this can all be done remotely if you don't take delivery of your vehicle with us uh, or I can definitely uh, help assist with this um, either remotely or in person so we'll come back to that uh, but the Porsche connect again very simple to set up something I can help with remotely or in person and the last but not least enter name so if you're the primary driver of the vehicle a little personalization you can click enter name and you can actually type your your name in there okay, okay. I'm gonna finish setup now what happens with this since um, the settings were changed and I added myself for a driver a driver profile what it's doing is it's pretty much resetting to the uh, stock options when it comes to climate it's always 72 and then it moves my mirrors around steering wheel and my seat when you make any changes as long as you're in your driver profile it will save those changes it will save it automatically now one thing that you can always adjust and save to your keys is the memory setting on the far left for ergonomic settings so if someone else drives your car you don't want them messing with your driver profile have them just do set one or two or three so that way again they're not messing with your temperature your radio presets uh, so on and so forth so first thing here that you'll find is your home screen this is customizable how do we do that well we can go up to the menu button up here looks like three lines configure home and here it gives us a few different things we can do so we can uh, switch layouts to layout three layout one is probably the most or I guess I should say uh, the less cluttered of the three and then if you make any changes you hit confirm now one thing that I've done in my car and in many customers vehicles um, switching over calls to favorites 
and we can actually uh, when your phone book is downloaded into the PCM you can go through your contacts hit a star and I'll show you how to do that with your radio stations uh, and actually have your favorite contacts displayed on your PCM or you can just leave your call log it's completely up to you up here for personalization it has the driver and Porsche ID settings if your Porsche ID is uh, put into the PCM you can actually do home link profiles and um, you can just have date and temperature so I'm gonna leave it on the traditional one for now now for a home link video I have not made one yet but I will on my next uh, system that I program that way uh, we have an idea on how to do it if again you are uh, remote and uh, you're not here where we can do it for you if you wanted to change any one of these icons over here with one on the right basically all you have to do is I can take driving settings for example and I could just move it over and get rid of the car or get rid of the calls or I can have Apple CarPlay if I'm a fan of that and actually put that here instead of the voice control since I already have pretty much the voice control button on the steering wheel so it's kind of overkill if I have it in two different places admittedly I do not have an iPhone um, so I cannot demo Apple CarPlay but uh, if you program your Bluetooth it's gonna ask you if you want to use a wireless Apple CarPlay you can it can be a bit much toggling back and forth between Apple CarPlay and the PCM so uh, use at your uh, discretion now on the top left that's your menu you can scroll up or scroll down we'll start with navigation so with navigation obviously we have uh, the vehicle is going to default to the true north setting I personally prefer it with the vehicle the 12 o'clock position so if you hit the true north arrow here it's going to rotate the knob on the right will allow me to zoom in or zoom out depending on my preference of how far I want to be out on my map now next to the menu button which is three dashes you've got one that looks like sheets of paper so our layers button will allow us to do a few different things I personally love the satellite map and the 3d map it will also allow you to display your compass not very many people do that but you can I'm going to take it off for now we talked about Porsche Connect Porsche Connect what that's gonna do is allow your online traffic to stay on as you can see it's green on I-10 uh, it'll turn red here shortly I'm sure the satellite map is also going to load up so while that's working I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do an online destination search if you're not using the voice pilot system there's our satellite map pretty cool magnifying glass I'm going to hit the G and then I'm gonna look for my favorite barbecue spot in town it's called Rudy's barbecue if you've never been there recommend it Rudy's space B B Q so it's loading the data there's road Rudy's country store and barbecue oh sorry the closest one to me is in Leon Springs so I'm gonna select there once I select that one what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to confirm that's what I want which I did and I can start route guidance I can call or I can make it a favorite in my navigation system once I start route guidance calculated. it'll calculate it for me it'll give me my ETA and my distance I know it says 11 miles but it's a straight shot down I-10 so pretty quick for us to get there from here you can't see the route so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom out there we go my route is illuminated in blue and then if you so choose you can also have the navigation switch back to the screen displayed on the right side pretty cool also here if you push down on the wheel it'll let you let you get away from true north and go to a 3d map which will eliminate true north for me that's the preferred way of looking at it but again everyone is different I'm going to go ahead and stop route guidance. Now, if you do not continue your Porsche Connect services after the first free year, you can still put in a navigation address the traditional way. Hitting the map on destination or the checkered flag. And all I have to do is just type in a house number. 
hit OK. And then next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the street. Now, keep in mind, this will autofill for you. So uh, keep that in mind. Um, you can't go faster than the system. So if you go too fast, it might skip around and uh, skip the address that you're actually trying to find. Then it's going to ask me for the city. I'll go ahead and confirm. And then I'm going to start route guidance. So that's your traditional way of putting your navigation in there. Favorites. We talked about that briefly when I went over the option to do it for Rudy's Barbecue. Your favorites will show up here. Now, I would never recommend making home address the home or work address the work uh, just for uh, security purposes. You can always store a new destination or what you can do is find a location near your home or work that's a public park, a gas station, what have you, and maybe adding that as your home address, just so you can have a, you know, an ETA uh, to your home if you're leaving the office or um, you know, trying to get home from uh, somewhere that you're not familiar with, to at least get you back to a remote, uh, remotely close area. That's your navigation system in a nutshell. Again, any further information you need, uh, always here to help. Media. So media is gonna be uh, your radio. FM, XM, um, if you're listening to music from your phone, uh, that's also a way you can do it. So the way to select it is you'll drop down from the FM and the down arrow, and you select your source of music. There is no AM radio on the vehicle anymore. Um, I have uh, requested to find out why and uh, if that will be changed back. But unfortunately right now, uh, for some reason, it was a surprise to me, uh, there is no AM radio option on the vehicle. To look at your list of stations, simply hit list. Then what I like to use is this knob here to scroll. So scroll down and I'm gonna find a radio station and then I'm gonna show you how to program a favorite. So if I go to 96.1, the star on the right, hit that right there. It's gonna work the exact same if you're looking through your contacts and wanna program a favorite. No difference at all whatsoever. Now, when I go to my favorites here, there it is. The recently played stations will always be at the top and then your favorites will be at the bottom. Super, super easy to use. And since I have myself on here for the driver profile, it's going to uh, save it right when I do it. That's media. Phone. This is where you pair your phone. Uh, and before you pair your phone, you'll see a breakdown call. Breakdown call will move to the apps section of your PCM once your Porsche Connect services are active. And that's for roadside assistance. Car. So this is gonna be a couple different things to show you here. Um, you have your drive mode, we're in normal. Uh, auto stop start is off, as you saw that I did that on the home screen. Sport exhaust system, turn that on, give it a nice growl. Also your spoiler can be lifted from here. Hit the button. The orange uh, illustration tells you that it's up. If you want to put the spoiler down manually, you'll have to hold down the button for about three seconds while the spoiler retracts. And no longer do a one touch feature for liability purposes. Triple odometer will also be here. And your lap timer. So if you save laps, um, because you do take this car to the track, this is where you'll have your reference laps. And if you have any uh, questions about that, we can definitely dive deeper in. Climate. So this is gonna be uh, pretty much where you control your air distribution, you can sink it, you can recirculate it if you like clean air and you have really bad allergies and you don't want air coming in. If you have the ionizer on your vehicle, some of you may, some of you may not, that is where you will, uh, this is where you can actually select to turn the ionizer on and off. Center vent. I like to turn that off because it makes the air stronger from the vents down low. The center vents is going to have it from up here. Uh, it could blow more, more air into your eyes. Sorry for that. Uh, so again, something to think about. Air distribution on the left, uh, depending on how you like your air coming out, and the style on the right. When you get into the style menu, you can use uh, strong, medium, or soft, uh, depending on how you like your air coming out. Medium seems to work fine even in South Texas, uh, but deep in the summer, I might think about switching it to strong. 
apps. Cool features. Again, this is as long as your Porsche Connect services are activated. If you have trouble with that or you need help, again, uh, I can't stress enough uh, how much, you know, we're definitely here to help. Uh, one thing that I use religiously is weather. So here, you can actually see uh, weather forecast that's going on right now, throughout the rest of the day, all the way throughout the rest of the week. Um, so what that's going to do is going to show you, um, you know, what's going on uh, in the local area. And it's going to pull weather from wherever uh, the vehicle is located. I'm going to go back. Uh, news is you know, uh, NPR, uh, Porsche News. So a lot of cool stuff to switch from different, uh, I guess you could say genres or uh, you know, classifications of news. You drop down at the top. Um, so top news, international politics, um, you know, Washington Report, and then Porsche News. And it'll actually read it out to you if you hit this little speaker right here. It's pretty cool. Gas stations. This one I have found to be helpful, uh, and you may or may not, especially if you're in an area you're not used to, um, gas stations. So if you wanted to select one, let's say, for example, this shell on Medical Drive. So I'm going to select that one. On the right side, it's going to allow me to start route guidance. I can even make it a favorite if it's on my commute near my office um, or just somewhere that I, uh, I tend to go down a lot, you know, by a family member's house or so on and so forth. If you scroll up here, you can actually see somewhat of a landscape uh, photo of what the place looks like. Up to the right, you'll see an apartment complex. That's obviously not it. And then if I push to the left, it's going to give me the left side of the street. Now, keep in mind, we're, uh, we're kind of relying on Google here. Uh, but it's usually pretty pretty ac pretty accurate, uh, and there on the right, I scroll too far, but you'll see the gas station. So it's actually going to give you a, a pretty cool illustration of where that's uh, located. Hotels, it's going to work the same way. Parking, that'll be for uh, paid parking lots. So if you are in downtown San Antonio, for example, it actually will pull up uh, you know parking garages with vacancies and pricing. I think that's very, very cool if you frequent uh, downtown. Restaurants is cool too. If you're going to a new restaurant, uh, I've actually never been to the Sumo Japanese Steakhouse, but similar to the gas stations, I can actually see here and get a look at what it looks like. A little bit more in depth. Uh, you can get some Yelp ratings in here. Ooh, three out of five. I don't know about that. Uh, hours and reviews. Uh, I think that's pretty cool. If you are super techie, uh, you know, when it comes to uh, what's in your vehicle. So that's your apps. Again, with Porsche Connect services, these do continue. You will have it free for the first year. After that, it's about $200 a year. So not a huge investment considering all of the uh, advancements in the apps, advancements in your navigation system, and the Porsche Connect app that uh, unfortunately I can't show you in this video. However, I can definitely help you set up and give you a tutorial. Assist. So these are going to be all your assistance systems. Porsche Active Safe is the emergency autonomy autonomous braking uh, that will help with collision avoidance. Not guaranteed to stop an accident, uh, but it's guaranteed to help. Lane Change Assist is your blind spot monitor. That is actually housed now those three dots at the end of the mirror. So they will flash and stay illuminated if there's something in your blind spot. Lane Keep Assist. Got mixed reviews on this one. Um, some customers like it, some customers don't. I personally don't, so I would not have that system on. I would just turn it off. So um, that way I'm not forcibly kept in my lane. It really gets confused when there's a lot of construction and there's man-made lanes or, or, or uh, you know additional lanes uh, and things are kind of getting a little uh, crazy on the road. Uh, it's gonna, it, it can get confused, so again, I would turn it off, uh, but again, your personal preference, um, you know, for safety, you know, obviously you're always going to do what's best for you. Sound. This is the Bose surround sound system. Uh, most of you do have Bose. We have not delivered one with Burmester yet. Um, I'll make another video once we do. So balance, fader balance. Uh, instead of using the screen, because I can never get it in the middle, I'll just use the knob on the right. Very helpful. So I'll push down, 
and I can mess with my balance. I'll push down again and I can mess with a fader just by turning the knob left or right. And then I'm gonna take it right back to the middle. Tone. This is where you can adjust your bass and your treble. Bose system. Excellent system. I like these surround FM, surround satellites, surround Bluetooth. Um, one thing to keep in mind, depending on what source of music you're listening to, you will have to go in and adjust, but keep in mind if you have a driver profile, it's gonna save it for you. Linear FM, what that's going to do, it's going to bring out more of the instruments, the high pitches, so it sounds cleaner while steep, keeping that surround FM and not making it feel like it's uh, drowning in bass. So uh, something that I like, but again, uh, everybody's different. Sound true, you wanna leave that on, and the audio pilot, you wanna leave that on as well. Volume, sub menu of the sound. Navigation announcements are at six, it's pretty standard. Park assist is at medium. Adjust while parking. Uh, volume is reduced when parking assist, park assist is active. You can have that either on or off. Uh, warning signals are at low. I'm gonna go ahead and turn those up to medium because I'm a little hard of hearing, uh, but you can definitely adjust as you see fit. Uh, message tone for incoming text messages and emails if you have Bluetooth activated. I personally don't like that, so I, will, I would uncheck the box. I would also mute navigation during a call. The last thing you want is to be on an important business phone call or just a, a phone call period and have the navigation system cut out your phone call to tell you to turn right, turn left, make a U-turn, or what have you. Um, touch tone setting. If we select that, when you touch the screen, it's going to give you an audible tone. I like that because it kind of gives me a, some feedback and lets me know that I'm uh, making a selection. Um, I try not to use this while I'm driving, but sometimes I do, uh, and I, that feedback you know, kind of helps me out. That's your volume that's in your sound menu. Now, settings. Obviously, we've already gone through and added a driver profile, so I'm, I can go back in here. I can add a driver. You can make someone use the guest profile and it will automatically save driver profiles. So if you share this vehicle with anybody, you can always um, add a driver, put their name in there. And then at the end of the day, what they do on their driver profile as far as radio presets, favorites, uh, temperature, you name it, is going to be saved to that driver profile. Device manager, again, is where you're going to go in and search for a new device. Adding phones, you, a spouse, a friend, a uh, kid, you name it, uh, you can add devices in here. The most I've ever added is eight. Um, I'm, I'm assuming it can do more. I've uh, just never done more than eight. Vehicle settings. That's where a lot of people had questions. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, locking. So, when we go to unlock that door that I made in the previous video, uh, it will unlock the driver's door or I could have it open uh, both doors. The reason why I open both doors is uh, I typically have a passenger with me, um, but if I don't, I can always lock the vehicle when it drives off, when I put it into gear and I take off. So, a uh, personal preference, um, but I'll leave it on driver door for now. That way the next owner can change that should they see fit. Lock while driving, uh, exactly how it sounds when you take off, the vehicle's gonna lock. Confirmation tone, you'll hear a chirp whenever the vehicle um, you know, obviously locks, you can turn that off. Um, but again, you know, for added peace of mind and just the, uh, you know, confirmation that tone is there. Comfort access. If you leave that on, what's going to happen is the steering wheel will move up and the seat will move back to give you easier entry and egress to the vehicle once you turn it off and open the door. Interior monitoring is the anti-theft protection. You want to leave that on? <clears throat> Excuse me and check interior monitoring. Always ask if interior monitor should stay activated when leaving the vehicle. Um, you know, I'd leave that on just, uh, you know, just as a, a good rule of thumb. Seat setting, oh, next, lights and visibility. Interior lighting, usually leave this alone. Um, if you like the brightness brighter, you can definitely adjust, uh, but typically from the factory, it's uh, a good setting. Same thing would be for exterior lights. High beam assist is on. And the lights will fade out after 30 seconds once you lock the car and walk away. Now, high beam assist, how do we do that? So if we go here to our headlight switch, if your vehicle is equipped with the um, 
high beam assist setting, what's gonna happen is when your headlights are on, only when they're on at night, if you push the stock forward, you see that there? Automatic high beams. So if a vehicle is coming towards you, the high beams will dim. And once that vehicle goes by you, those high beams will come back up. Reversing. From the factory, the settings state that the mirrors will lower if you go into reverse. Now, uh, you may or may not like that. If you don't like it, just uncheck the box. Make sure you hit the back arrow here to save it because it will not save if you just go to the home screen. Uh, we've seen that before, so just a, uh, a good tip. Seat settings. Basically, all this is going to do is going to allow you to change the balance of your heat and ventilation for both the driver and passenger. Uh, if you like it more on your back, vice your back side, um, you can adjust where that balance goes. You can also move the passenger seat from the driver's seat. Um, you know, you'll probably never use that, however, uh, here. So now I can adjust the front passenger seat using my buttons just by selecting on the menu. This might be helpful if you drop something underneath the passenger seat or something falls, but other than that, um, or you're like me and your four year old son sits in the back and you want to adjust the seats to give him more room. Other than that, you might never use this um, adjustment. Shortcut keys. So you have three shortcut keys, one on the steering wheel, that diamond that you see right there, and then your two on the dashboard. For steering wheel button one, one thing that I use pretty often is the park assist mute when I'm in a drive-thru or um, in my garage when I already know where I'm going or at the airport where there may be uh, poles sticking up. So I'll turn it off just by hitting the button. Hit the X to program, park assist mute. Again, to make sure it saves to my driver profile, I'm gonna hit the back arrow. Let's jump back in here, show you what you can do on button one and button two. Now, sometimes these will be different. If you do not have the Sport Chrono package, it will have sport mode and wet mode there. Um, it will also could have sport exhaust on there it's going to depend on the individual equipment of the car so it might not give you any buttons to program it might only give you one or two as you see here it's just going to depend on the individual equipment of the car so being down here in south texas ac max is already here so i wouldn't use that but i would definitely use sport exhaust so that will be console button one now the console button two, what I've done in the past for clients, is I program that to the Homelink profile. Makes it a little bit easier to use the Homelink system. And again, uh, I could make a video for that, how to program it uh, once I uh, get in front of a client's garage again. Uh, kind of hard to do here at the dealership because we just don't have uh, capabilities for that. Which takes me to my next point, configuring a garage door opener. So again, I'll make a video for that and I'll upload it for you guys uh, as soon as I get a chance. That's gonna be your vehicle settings. Everything else that you might see, you probably won't mess with. Again, we're in South Texas. We don't need to deviate our air pressure. We don't go to winter tires. So luckily, uh, we are good when it comes to that. The last thing I wanna show you is your drive mode. How to program an individual setting. This, uh, I've been asked this question a lot, so here we go. So I'm gonna use my personal settings for drive mode off of my uh, 2018 9-11. A little bit different, uh, but the gist is the same. So I prefer sport mode, which turns off my sport exhaust. It turns on my, turns off the auto stop start system. I like my spoiler deployed, and I like the sport chassis. Now on this vehicle to program that to individual settings, you just take the switch at the, the uh, button at the top, the IND with the arrow, and my config. this configuration has been saved as my individual mode. So to kind of show you how it works, I'm gonna go back to normal. I'm gonna put my spoiler down, and 
I'm going to put my chassis back to normal. I'm going to leave this menu up and I'm going to kind of zoom out here. So I'm going to go to my drive mode. I'm going to go to individual. Voila. All my changes have been made. Again, since I have a driver profile set up, this is exactly how it's going to save. Um, so we'll be good to go there. I almost forgot the best part of this whole car. The 20 second sport response mode. Let me zoom in here. Sorry for the grainy video. In the middle, you have a button. Full on everything the car has for 20 seconds. Now, if you are only using five seconds of this, you can hit the button again and it will turn off the timer. So it puts it back to normal or in my case, individual mode, which I'm gonna get out of now. That is the most aggressive setting that you can be in in this vehicle. I have launched or performed launch control out of that mode, but um, I prefer using it on Sport Plus just because I don't have a timer that I have to worry about turning on or off. I don't have to worry about um, you know things of that nature. Uh, I can just put it in Sport Plus, hold down on the brake with my left foot, hold down on the accelerator with the right foot until it tells me the launch control is activated, and then I'm taking off. That covers the PCM and the settings. Again, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call me. I'll do everything in my power to help you, whether we're in person or remotely. Thanks for watching and uh, enjoy your new 992.